Here's the Jan Ostman 02, which I built in a previous video quite quickly from a bare boards Arduino that I built in another video, just breaking the parts down here. Uh, I need, I want to put this one in my modular, which has 12 volts. This one needs 5 volts or else the Arduino will break. So during the course of the modular in a week, I've built two different kinds of uh, 12 volt to 5 volts uh, converters uh, and this will be the third type so this is one of uh, Jan Ostman's designs it's similar to the ones I've built before and they're all pretty the same some of them have a diode before the LM7805 protection diode some have uh, a capacitor on the input and on the output. This one has a diode and a 10 microfarad capacitor on the output. So I'm just going to show you how we can get power from the side instead of from up here to get 12 volts in and 5 volts to the bus. So depending on what type of power you put in um, or, or you have in your modular system. In my case I just run DuPont cables so I will take a small two header like this and just add 12 volts and ground. If you do have um, the Eurac standard p uh, power connector don't put it up here uh, in the version 05 of the Proto because that will get all those down to the bus. This will be fixed in a pr in a future version of this so just so you know. But so what I would suggest is adding it on because you get you only you only need two of the pins so I would put it on 14 and 15 like so row 14 15 that way you get those three pins 12 13 14 is you get those pins down here with the outputs to the regulator which we're going to build and if you for any reason need 12 volts and that stuff you have also on this side, row 16. So that's good to know. But I am just going to use two of these on row 14. That means I have two free slots on each three pin or three hold row. And I'm immediately changing my mind and putting it on row 16 because we of course have the diode as well and the diode should be with the line away from the header or towards the regulator so add that to from pin 15 to 14 no, 15 to 13, so we get a little bit of space. And then on pin 12, we add the regular, not on pin 12, on row 12, we add the regulator. Pin 1 is the input, so that is on A, so we place it like so. And ground right now is on B15 and we need to actually get ground from B15 to this row and we do that so we we will add these two together and we will add a jumper here from one of the legs of this one and that way we will get here and we can add this one either 
let's see, ground like so, ground to minus or minus on the capacitor is to ground. So like so, this is how we're going to connect it. And then we connect leg three. So that's C. We connect that row all the way out and onto this. And we connect that here and that will connect both the top rows to five volts. And B row here we will connect all the way and on the bottom side we will connect that to ground and the whole bottom side will be or yeah will be connected to ground. So I'm just gonna solder this together. One more thing, we could also, instead of using a large 7805 like this, we could probably use just a small 7805 like this. The positive thing with this is it has better heat dissipation because we are taking 12 volts down to 5 volts, so it's quite a big leap. So B9 connected to ground as well. Connecting all three can be a bit tricky. Now, they, it's not usually this tricky. This was crazy tricky today. I have no idea why. Uh, so, usually it works to add two and then the other two. Sometimes when it is this crazy stupid, it is possible to take a small piece of lead and add there. It really shouldn't be necessary, but sometimes you just have to realize. Uh, because I've been messing around so much here, I need to just make sure that they're all connected. And they're not connected, and they are. So that's good. So except for the mishap with that connection point, uh, this should now work. Um, Which means that we have voltage in there and then out here is not 5 volts, that's wrong. 5 volts is of course on pin 3, so I need to fix that as well. So in this case I have soldered these two together which they shouldn't be, uh, and we can easily just solve this 
hopefully with a solder suction. And then we add it to the third pin instead. And that is also in the pipeline to move these solder points to the below instead as we get much more space to put them together there. Let's make sure again. And then, of course, pin 3 to voltage plus. That worked as it should. And making sure we have plus 5 volts everywhere that we should. And ground where we should. So this should work now and we can put it into the modular. So now we have it 12 volts in here and to the 5 volts of this system running the clock, the simple clock divider and the output so we get the drums from this one. <laughs> 